Another crop that we've kind of pulled out of the vegetable world and are using for cover crops because we really like some of the benefits is okra. Okra is in the cotton family, so it's very heat and drought tolerant, very deep rooted, uh, which are all characteristics that make it a great addition to summer cover crop mixes. Uh, Dale, tell us a little bit more about okra. Look at that root there on yeah. that thing. Uh, I think this speaks, speaks volumes here. You know, it has a massive taproot, uh, able to penetrate most hard pans. Uh, of course, like you said, different plant family. It's in the mala family with cotton. So it offers some different genet genetic diversity, uh, completely different fallow than grasses or legumes or most of our other cover crops. So it's uh, really a great addition. Um, when we first started planting this thing, we said, well, it, it's got some nice characteristics, but it won't be any good for livestock grazing. And we found just the opposite. <laughs> We were wrong. We were wrong. Uh, livestock actually love this stuff. And, you know, uh, because Especially it is- the southern cattle. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, and because it's related to cotton, it, it does seem to have uh, some compact, you know, cotton has gossy pall, which has some deworming properties. Okra seems to have some of that same effect. Um, <clears throat> Seems yeah. to uh, rid animals of internal parasites. And, and another advantage in a grazing situation, Dale, that I've observed is the cattle don't actually eat the whole plant. They'll, they'll pick off the okra fruit, and this is a little too immature yet. It's starting to get ready to bloom. But they'll eat the fruit and they'll eat the leaves, but you get a little bit of rain and this is gonna regrow new leaves. And it's very indeterminate. It will keep putting fruit on all the way up till it freezes. Yeah, you get fl multiple flushes yeah. Have good, high quality forage. So, so this is about 60 days of growth, planted the end of May. We're filming here at the end of July, so about 60 days of growth. Okra needs warm temperatures though. You cannot get this planted in cooler soils. It's gonna have to be 65 to 70 degrees soil temperatures for this to germinate. We've seen a lot of okra failures when people plant it too early and it just simply will not germinate. And then it gets behind and it can't get caught up in a mix. Yeah, but it, it'll handle heat and drought where, where a lot of other plants won't. 